All right, let's bring in trial attorney Richard Roth. Uh, Richard, how do you think, first of all, the prosecution's doing in, in their summations here? Doing a great job, doing a really good job. What he's doing is slowly and methodically piecing together all the physical evidence to show that this wasn't sudden and this wasn't, uh, this was not a sudden provocation. It was an intent. He went ahead and had to actually discharge the gun and fix the gun. He actually mo removed his son from him, walked to the door. This wasn't seeing two people in bed. I think he's doing a very good job of scientifically demonstrating to the jury that, that, that Patrick Warren at all times pre had a premeditated intent to kill his wife and his and her boyfriend. You mentioned his son. I, I think that some of his words in this trial may be some of the hardest for the jury to forget. Listen to this. What was your dad's reaction to your mom moving down there with Mr. Buick? Upset. Did he ever make any threats against Mr. Buick? Yes. What would he say? He threatened to kill him multiple times. He threatened to kill him multiple times. We know we say that kind of flippantly, I'm going to kill him, blah, 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 blah. Is there anything the defense can do in summations to try to dilute that? Yes, the defense has to say that this is, while scientifically it looks like it wasn't a sudden provocation and a sudden sufficient provocation, this is not, that's not life, that, that life is not science, this is a person, and it certainly isn't Patrick Warren. And what Patrick Warren really was about was slowly deteriorating from a good, healthy state to a depressed, anxiety state, and it built up in him, and it built up, and it built up, and it built up, and yes, he told his son a couple times, I want to kill her, but finally reached the point, especially in light of everything that happened with, with, with um, his wife and the boy, and, and, and the other man, um, where he just couldn't handle it anymore, and that's life, that's not science, so he has to essentially say, what was sudden and sufficient to Patrick Warren may not be sudden and sufficient to the rest of us, but that is, in fact, the way it came down, and I think he has a shot at getting rid of the murder one so long as he shows that this was an ongoing it was sort of a building if you will mm -hmm. an acceleration okay so if he does get rid of the murder one what happens what, what a lot of people are wondering well at the end of the day he still admittedly killed two people would could he just would he just walk Oh, no. He, he's, he's not walking. The question is whether he's getting the death penalty. That's really the big question here. And if he can get rid of murder one and get rid of the death penalty, he will spend his life in jail. Uh, there's no, nobody's questioning that. But the question is, will he be prematurely uh, killed, that is, um, mm -hmm. uh, through injection or otherwise. So that's what he's really, that's what his lawyers are really fighting about. Uh, he's he's going to be in jail the rest of his life, but the question is whether or not, he how long his life will be. And okay. that's where they have to get into the, the non-scientific, if you will, artful evidence. So this is the question then. If he's going to be in jail for the rest of his life, why go to trial? He was offered two plea deals. Uh, one, I think, was for 25 years to life. Yeah, when I say the rest of his life, he's at 25 years is pretty much the rest of his life. Um, he is attempting to show, and does he have a shot? I don't think so, but maybe his lawyers and he does, that essentially it was, there was some justification in his actions. The problem is that whether there's an affair, an affair does not justify something, li literally taking a gun and mm -hmm. shooting to the door and killing the boyfriend and killing the wife. So he's trying to find a, ju find a justifiable homicide. It's impossible it's close mm -hmm. it's nearly impossible to show that in this instance we have the de we have the defendants we have the victim we have the weapon we have witnesses there's not much he has to really fight for we also have witnesses though who are te who have testified that in his mind he didn't seem to be right because he was suffering from this in immense depression and and he was acting in a way that he hadn't acted before do you think one, that he's a danger to society, and two, that the judge might order therapy for him? I don't think he's a danger to society. He was, uh, if you will, wrapped up in this love triangle. But, but the, that question, though, we don't really want to have to answer. If he is a danger then, and, and you let him go, right. then, then that's a huge error. Mm -hmm. So um, he's going to have to be locked up for a very long time. Okay. All righty. Richard Roth, thank you so much for your insight as always. Sure. Thanks a lot. Happy Fourth of July, too. By you the way. too. Almost.